So here I have my Samsung Galaxy Tab A. Uh, it's not A7. I was going to say A7, but it is just Samsung Galaxy Tab A, 2 GB RAM, and uh, it has a problem here. You can see there's a crack here from where the screen glue started coming off, and I don't know how the screen glue is coming off, but the full tab glue is weakened and uh, it's not good. There's so much dust in here because the screen was hanging once I like lift it up. So I will try to fix it by myself. And the headphone jack is a bit loose. It is clean from inside. So there's some problem or something is loose inside. I can't get a like a duplicate or a, like what do you say? I can't get up uh, another uh, headphone jack of this type of model. There is another two types, but I'm not getting this specific type of model. So I will try to fix it myself. So hopefully nothing goes wrong and let's start. So I have all my tools beside me and first uh, first you have to switch off your tab. So let me just do it real quick. enter the password to shut it down and then this shutting down so I don't like uh, know properly but I can try to fix it because there is like nothing changing the like battery and all stuff so it should be pretty easy and uh, you can see I can lift it off with my finger I don't have nails right now I just like cut my nails yesterday so I'm using this thing and some guitar players which I have so please don't try it alone by yourself if you don't know how to do it and you can just see how it's sliding through the cracks trust me it's pretty bad inside and it's too dusty also I'll just keep one here without like destroying anything from inside let me just pull it out So here I opened it with my bare hands. I didn't even have to like use this thing, whatever it is called. Didn't even have to use this thing all the way. I know many people use this all the way, but I didn't have to because gum is already weakened and that's pretty bad. Get it changed as soon as possible because that may damage the tab from inside and you cannot see it in the camera but there is a lot of dust in here so first thing first we have to remove this we have to remove the whole lcd i'll try to zoom in so you have to remove this part so let me just do it and please don't try anything of this by yourself you may damage the you may damage whatever you have here I'm using tools should be pretty easy yeah and like that it's out so now I can keep this LCD aside because it's it in pretty good condition and there's nothing wrong with it so the problem was I don't know how but I don't know how even that happened see that gum glue and it's now it's fully dry it's fully dry and the side also glue is gone the only glue which was holding is the bottom one on this part nothing else was working so here i have it i have to remove all the screws to get in i could just like uh, use the adhesive adhesive whatever you call it i can just scrape this off but what i want to do is this fix the headphone jack so let me just uh, remove all of it real quick using the tools which i have right now with me and I don't know why but there is there are a lot of screws in it. So I'm using these tweezers to get them out. Doing it in a professional way, which I am not a professional by the way. So 
I will just remove all the screws and get back because it's hard recording and removing all the screws at the same time. So I'll so that actually took pretty long and uh, here is my last screw and these screws are in very tight. Oh my god, these are actually very tight. Can't remove. I took so long to just remove one screw. You can just imagine all these screws now. They are all out. Let me use this and take all of them out. These screws are the not even. Like they are inside a hole and they like easily don't come out. It's just slipping out of my hand. So what I'm going to do is just like make the tab upside down. I don't know how I'm going to put this all back. Don't go hard in this. Take your time. Do it by if like. I advise you to not do it first in first place but if you are anyway like knowing all this but take your time these things are actually hard to get out so I'll be back I'll be back okay Okay guys, so finally it has opened. I don't know it is holding down by some like clippers and some plastic toys you can see. So here is the Samsung Galaxy Tab A fully opened. Here is the back plate. So let me keep the back plate aside. And here is the actual Samsung Galaxy Tab A. And here is the CPU. I know like I'm not too accurate, but yeah, I am a bit accurate. And my SIM card tray is beside me. Everything is here, and I'm actually seeing this uh, battery for the first time, and it's actually big, and it's kind of small at the same time. So I used to wonder all the time, why is this speaker so loud and so like good, good quality speakers? Because you can see this part is the whole speaker, and here is the charging port which is directly connected to here, and I think I should remove the battery first because. You know any electronic gadgets you can't trust them. So I have removed the battery. So I'm not touching it with bare hands. I'm a bit scared. Yeah, I am scared. And uh, here, here is the thingy. thingy. Whatever thingy it is. I have to remove this to in order to like. What is wrong with it? I don't know. Okay, so I have checked it and it is I don't know what's the problem like the connector is fine the whole thing is only fine but now it is a bit tight after like I just uh, like press this so I don't know whatever I press but it is a bit tight now and I can for sure tell it is I think it may work I don't know so let me just without messing around I just like put it back because I don't want to like, destroy anything or you know like these are a bit fragile things which you have to be careful about. Let's just back. Okay. So here I have put it so I just clip it back. Is here. So you can see the overall Samsung Galaxy Tab A. Uh, actually, it's a 2 GB RAM, which is annoying because everything I do in this thing crashes. But it looks like a big tab, and uh, it should probably have more RAM. But the charging port, like from the charging port, the power goes here. Here is the main charging port, and all Samsung phone, not all, but uh, like maximum of them have this. I know Apple is like different from Samsung. Apple has just like this, not in the tabs but in phone. It just has the side. It has the like main board and here the battery. But Samsung is like different, so you can't judge anything. So let me just connect the battery back. I'm a bit scared. 
hopefully don't short circuit and then it is good and i just see the motherboard if you want i have a other motherboard from the tab which school gave me but the screen is gone and uh, yeah no one is repairing it because it's a old model it is an lenovo tab with windows 7 in it and so where is my black plate yeah here is the back plate does it have all the screws hopefully and we just install it back here it is not held by any glue or whatsoever it is just held from here then it will tab and here by something like clippers or something so let me just check double check it once so that i have connected everything even though i just removed this and this but shall sure, like double checking it like doesn't hurt and is one good thing when you like do something which you don't know about or something so let me just put it back carefully and here the screws are falling down not falling down but i just do it like this put in place put it in place is supposed to go in place okay you hear the click it's good so oh, thank god we didn't mess up anything i have to clean all this glue using this thing i don't have any other tool but i saw most of the users like this or this to clean it so i'll just clean it because i know video is horrible and I'm not able to control because this is my first video like this, so cooperate and I will just clean this and come back. So here I have heated it a little bit so the glue should probably come off easily. I don't know why this glue is yellow and white. It should be adhesive which is in black color and there's a lot of dust here. This is what I was concerned of because like electronic stuff. I don't know if they're good with okay like not electronic stuff but like this pair like. tap or something i don't know if they're good with the dust in them but i don't mean that they make it better but good means like okay you like they perform like normal well the the dust don't affect but i don't know this thing is not coming out so so here the glue came out very well off camera i don't know why doesn't it come when like i try to show it on cameras but Please it came and I didn't destroy anything let me just like clean it clean the glue away and if you are like still watching the video I know it's a long video I don't know if it's a long or short in editing I may make it short and I can record for another 2 minutes so better like finish it quick and it's actually like uh, i was scared till now until uh, after i open it i started getting scared then i closed it then i'm not scared at all so probably i was scared because i would like destroy something sorry i'm like not concentrating on the video but so let me just like add some adhesive which i have right here it's a 1 mm adhesive I'll just add it here and I'll record like restart the video because I don't have much time. This phone that like is telling I have only one minute just to record, so I don't know. We'll make and obviously I forgot to put back all the screws, so you can just do that also. Okay, so it's done. I have put all the screws and I obviously put adhesive because that's also a headache to do. And let me now just connect. and here i want to show you all the just a second here is all the spaghetti i got from the adhesive after pulling them so comment if you want this spaghetti i know you don't want it but here is the lcd lcd is far cleaner than all that inside 
okay so i'll just remove this i just uh, need to scrape this gum off and i'll just stick it okay so it's done and uh, now okay sorry because the uh, whatever this thing we recording got like uh, the time was over so here is a tape hard easy by use and uh, here this part i'm scared for because i know this thing is like a bit fragile and uh, let me take my time here okay so sorry the storage was full and i deleted 5 gb of the stuff and here you can see it's done and the final it's inside you align it and be careful with whatever you are doing with it because you don't know when something goes wrong and let me just check if it works content then subscribe and if you are new then comment down below and don't forget to like the video and like sharing can help a lot you can share by one or two per like people or any of your friends and yeah here is the samsung tear down and hopefully the headphone jack works i will see you next time in next video i don't know when my new video is going to come soon i'm waiting for a laptop so that i can finish coding and upload a video so till then i may be uploading like this videos this is the first time remember this is the first time i have ever like opened anything up and fixed it myself i know it is like uh, i watch phone repair guru Uh, like money talks wireless etc people who fix a phone like this and i know what i have to do i learn from them and you don't try to do it by yourself in your home because you may damage some things i was a bit careful with this i had all the tools necessary for it you can see i'm just putting all the tools here and i like uh, importantly like Checked all the tools which are gonna be important for this project, and uh, yep, this thing works. I didn't mess up anything inside. Hopefully the headphone jack works, or else it's just a waste of time removing all the screws. It, it's not a waste because you, I showed it to you people, okay, and now I will not waste any of your people's time. See my setup. That's sasta wala setup. Check sasta youtuber guys in the comment uh, and. I will meet you in the next video. Bye bye. This actually works now and I didn't mess up anything. I can't believe my